Welcome to Stamp with Angela. Today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy little carrot treat holder perfect for Easter. Okay, first what you need is a piece of 6 by 6 inches of DSP. Now you can use the uh, colour collections. This is the bright and the pumpkin pie colour. This is the one with the spots. So what you need to first do, I've got my stamping trimmer here, is score one side at one inch, then turn it 180 degrees and score half an inch, and then score half an inch at the bottom. Very good. So we're out. Our one inches, that's going to be the top, this is the side and the bottom, so we're going to work on the inside. So this is going to be folded in, and we need to place tape here on this inside bit, and here. So you can use tear and tape, here's one that I've got ready to go. So tape here and tape here. So you need to remove this, and stick it together. But just be careful that you don't pre that you don't kind of crease it too much. So I'm going to just meet up the edges, but I don't want to crease it. So I'll wind up that in first, all the way down, and crease it at the bottom. And up like that. Okay, but I'm not going to crease this front piece. Then what you need to do, so it's flat here, is you're going to push it so it's like this, okay, and that gives you that interesting shape. Then basically what you need to do is we need to prepare our little um, topping part here. So I've got three pieces of cardstock, it's garden green, but whichever green you like. It's just one inch by two inches, and I'm going to use my fringe scissors to cut. So I'm just going to go down most of the way, like this. I just need a little bit to uh, staple to. Like that. So on three pieces. Great. Okay. So what you need to do is make sure that you have your things to put inside. So for example, I have a few Easter eggs that I'm going to pop inside. So put those in first. Just see how it... Yep, maybe one more. Okay, so then I need to get my little leafy grass bit at the top and just um, arrange it. So it sort of shapes around like this. And then with my stapler, I'm going to staple through one coming from the other side to kind of in the middle. Because we think we're gonna then we'll hide it with our little happy Easter. So I've just used the happy Easter stamp from the teeny tiny sentiments. I'm just stamping it in garden green. So, oops, upside down, but that's okay. Punch it out. This is where I need my post-it note to hold on to it for me. There we go. And a couple of dimensionals. And pop it on. And then you've got a cute Happy Easter treat to give to someone. If you'd like to purchase any of the supplies, you can contact me at stampwithangela.co.nz. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me as well. I hope you have fun making this.